Hey everyone and welcome to Skillcap. My name is Dr. Zora and today we're going over the best positions that you should be playing on split. Many players get caught up trying to practice their aim as much as they can, but they neglect another key aspect that allows you to get kills much easier, which is playing the right position. There are multiple positions that are fantastic to play on split. In fact, there are so many great spots that we had to split this map into two separate guides. This guide is going to go over the best spots to play on the A site. Let's get right into it. Jumping into our first position, this is a common aggressive play that you can make on the attacker side. On the A site on attack side, you can actually pre-aim at A short before the round even begins. This gives you the upper edge in any defenders that decide to push A short. Especially if you have an operator, simply scope in ahead of time and any players that try to peek will be severely punished. When playing attacker side and you're on the save round, a good position to play is back behind these boxes. After some time has passed, many defenders will get antsy and try to push for eco frags. Once this happens, you can catch them off guard with this position where only your head will be showing and you'll get an easy kill onto them. After the spike has been planted, a good post plant position for attack is the back corner below ramps. This position allows you to watch for players rotating through ramps or sewers to A. Usually players don't expect this position and you can get an easy flank kill. Along with that, if players don't end up pushing through these spots, you can rotate quite quickly to check the site through A short to assist your team with defenders that are going straight onto the site itself. Another great post plant position to play as an attacker is the back corner outside screens. This is a very tough angle for defenders to check while playing retake. If they push screen, they have to bank on a player being here or elbow. More commonly, they'll usually check elbow first in which you can then get an easy kill onto them. If you do choose to play here though, make sure you have someone covering heaven and more importantly a short as that is the most likely position that defenders have the highest chance of spotting and killing you. And if you're serious about improving, then go to skillcap.com to unlock our hyper improvement system that will teach you how to win more gunfights, master your agent, and so much more. Backed by our rank improvement guarantee, you have nothing to lose. So come join over half a million satisfied members of Skillcapped, improve your KDA, and get the rank you've always wanted at skillcap.com. Link in the description below. Next up on defender side, a simple position you can play is the back corner of a main. Simply throw a smoke to block off the attacker's vision and then sneak your way over to the corner on the opposite wall. This is a position that a large number of attackers tend to neglect so it's a great way to grab those free frags. Do note though that if multiple attackers come at you, you're likely to get traded out. I would use this position occasionally to throw players off guard but this isn't a spot that you want to use constantly as it leaves little room for you to escape from. Next up is a fantastic position that many of the pros use and that is the back corner of ramps. This is a position that will occasionally be checked by enemy players but if attackers are going through A short, it's very unlikely they'll have their attention over here in which you can then grab a quick kill. It's also a great position to catch players pushing ramps as they're likely to check their right side first. This position is best when playing agents such as Raze, Omen, and Jet as they all have abilities that allow them to escape from after getting the initial frag. Raze can satchel away, Omen can teleport away, and Jet can dash away. Moving on from there, if attackers do end up taking ramp control from you, a great position to fall back to is above trash. This is a great headshot angle that will give many players trouble. You'll have the advantage against anyone who pushes past the doors and will be able to prevent the attackers from performing a proper A split. Do note that you will have to move quickly if you choose to retreat to this angle. A good example is if you see multiple players pushing through A at the start of the round and they appear to be pushing fast, backing up to trash would be a good option especially if you already have players that are holding A short. Along with trash, another position many players will use is the back corner of heaven. Similarly, this is a tricky position for attackers to deal with as they won't be able to see you until they actually enter heaven in which they then have to be cautious of ropes and trash along with this corner. This position is best played with Jet as her dash is the only ability that's fast enough to reposition yourself as necessary. If you are playing from middle or B and are rotating to spawn, running over to hold back spawn is another good angle that allows you to get any players that have pushed through heaven and are trying to get onto the site through rafters. Usually players tend to neglect this position and they won't smoke it in which you can then get an easy kill. 
Going closer to the site itself, the corner of rafters is a decent position to hold a short push. Players will tend to check this position, but they also have to check heavens, screens, and elbow as well, causing them to put less effort into peaking this angle. You can also make this position trickier by playing slightly away from the corner so that players trying to pre-aim you will be caught off guard. Do note that there isn't an escape route for this position, but you are usually guaranteed at least one kill. A good way to then switch things up is after initially playing corner of rafters, you want to drop down and play hell. This will throw attackers off guard as their crosshair will be too high up and in the completely wrong position. Play with the different angles like we just mentioned as well to further confuse the enemy attackers. Following that up, if you are a fan of sniping, the left side of rafters is a great place to be. This is a position that a majority of players tend to not check regardless if they know about it or not. Here you can actually peek a main and if any players pass by, you can get a quick sniper shot onto them. We suggest only using the operator for this position as the amount of area you can cover is quite limited. With a rifle, it's less likely that you'll be able to get a quick frag onto an attacker that's passing by and if no one is playing ramps, then you've then given away a lot of map control. With the operator, you can grab an initial peek and if there's more enemies or you miss your shot, you can easily back off to hold a short push or hold ramps from the heaven corner or trash that we already talked about. If you're playing omen or jet, this position over at pillars is an amazing angle that we guarantee players won't expect. From here, you can easily get an initial frag onto the A short players. You can then continue fragging out if enemies are peeking you one by one, or you can simply back up into safety in the blink of an eye and reposition yourself onto site or elbow for another engagement. Onto the A site itself, this right corner is a great angle to hold, especially if you're playing Phoenix or Breach, as they can constantly flash behind this pillar to blind enemies and get free frags. Similarly, the left corner of A site is also a good position to have and combined together, they provide a very strong defensive hold. With how many angles attackers need to check while pushing onto A, this tends to be a position that they check last. So while they're occupied checking everywhere else, you can have your crosshair ready to tap away at their head. Likewise, elbow is also a great position for these two agents for the same reasons. It's very easy to land your flashes here with a high success rate in which you can then slay and peek enemies with ease. Because it's long range, an operator would be a great weapon of choice here too. This is a great angle that will surely throw attackers for a loop and that is behind the box under rafters. Most players do not check this area and you can fully expose it by hiding under it and letting multiple attackers push through onto the site. Once you have them lined up, you can easily grab two or more kills in this position and completely throw off the attackers. After using this position once though, be cautious about using it again as attackers will likely check the angle in the following rounds. We recommend using this position every 3-4 to four rounds in which attackers are more likely to forget about the position and will get fooled again. Especially on a low economy round, this position will allow you to outplay the attackers that have better equipment. Make sure that when playing this position though, that you crouch. Agents such as Jet, Sage, and Killjoy will have their heads stick out if you don't, and this will take away the surprise factor for this position. If you're looking to snipe and play long range, Screens is going to be your best friend on a split. This is a very common position to use, and if you know the enemy team doesn't have an operator, you'll usually be able to get a pick or two here, despite it being so well known. One thing to be aware about this position though, is it is commonly smoked off once attackers have realized your positioning. However, because it takes some time for smokes from Brimstone and Omen to actually land, you can actually just run over to Elbow once you spot the smokes coming and then the coast will be clear and you'll still be able to grab those initial operator picks. When playing this position, there will be times when enemies will pass by you and take over ramps in heaven. If this is the case, you may want to back up through screens to check for players trying to push onto spawn. This position is practically never check first, which allows you to punish anyone who decides to play too aggressively. Similarly, if you gain control of screens on attacker side, this position is great for catching off rotators as well. And remember, if you want to improve, win more gunfights, and get the rank you've always wanted, then check out skillcap.com, link in the description below. Alright, so which position was your favorite to play on the A side of split? Let us know in the comment section below. And while you're down there, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to get more premium guides just like this one with one goal in mind. Helping you become a better player. We here at Skillcapped want to thank you for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. I'm Dr. Zora, and good luck out there.